quadratic forms. Associate Professor Catalina Angelo Ioan, Danubius University, Galați, Romania. This is me, Catalina Angelo Ioan. I missed Romania. I'd like to watch a news program on TV. But there is no Romanian program in your country. There is no problem. I'll build a satellite antenna. It's easy to say but hard to do. Because the equation of the antenna rotation paraboloid is x at square plus y at square minus a at square z equals zero, the canonical form, a x at square plus b y at square plus c z at square plus d x y plus e x z plus f y z plus j x plus h y plus j z plus k equals zero, the general form. Let us hold a part of the last expression ax square plus b, b y at square plus c z at square plus d x y plus e x z plus f y z. Because the second expression seems to me infernal, I decided to make a run to the nearest satellite. What is the distance to this? Mr. Albert Einstein and Carl Schwarzschild told me that the distance in space is calculated using the expression minus c at square ds at square eagle minus 1 minus rs over r, c at square dt at square, and so on. I do not want to watch TV. I hate the TV. It is good now, but the problem remains. Let's move on to more serious things now. Definition. An expression of the form h of x equal sum uh, from uh, ij equal 1 to n uh, a a g x a x j where x equal x1, xn belongs to r at, uh, to r at n, a, a, j uh, in r, a, j belongs to 1 to, uh, from 1 to n, is called the quadratic form. Do you want some examples? In r at square, the quadratic forms are hx equal a11 x1 at square, plus 2a12 x1 x2 plus a22 x2 at square where x equal x1 x2 belongs to r at square a a j in r a j belongs from 1 to 2. In r at 3 the quadratic forms are h x equal a11 x1 at square plus 2 a12 x1, x2, plus 2a13, x1, x3, plus a22, x2 at square, plus 2a23, x2, x3, plus a33, x3 at square, where x equal x1, x2, x3, belongs to r at square, a, a, j, um, in r, a, uh, i, j, belongs from 1 to 3. Remark. We can see from the two above examples that the quadratic form is a homogeneous pol polynomial of the second degree. It has all, all terms have the same degree equal to. You've already noticed that the two examples from the beginning were nothing but quadratic forms. A first problem. Let us consider a simplified form of Schwarzschild metric, what you see on the screen, when r s uh, equals zero, it becomes 
ds at square equal dt at square minus 1 over c at square dr at square minus r at square over c at square d theta at square minus r at square over c at square sinus at square from theta d phi at square. If we mark dt equal x1, dr equal x2, d theta equal x3, d phi equal x4, ds at square equal h, we get h x1, x2, x3, x4 equal x1 at square minus 1 over c at square x2 at square minus r at square over c at square x3 at square minus r at square over c at square sinus at square from theta x4 at square. We can easily see that h of 1, 0, 0, 0 equal 1 greater than 0. h from 0, 1, 0, 0 equal minus 1 over c at square less than 0. Therefore, the quadratic form takes both signs. But the quadratic form h equal x1 at square plus x2 at square plus x3 at square plus x4 at square is greater than 0 whatever x1, x2, x3, x4 is at least one non nul. And the quadratic form h equal minus x1 at square minus x2 at square minus x3 at square minus x4 at square is less than 0 whatever x1, x2, x3, x4 is at least 1 non nul. Therefore, how we can see if a quadratic form is positively defined, negatively defined, or semi-defined? Admitting contrary signs. Definition. A quadratic form hx equal sum from uh, ag equal 1 to n uh, a, a, G, a, J, X, I, X, J, has the normal form if there is a basis B of R, N, where HX equal sum with the I uh, belongs from uh, 1 to N, B, B, I, I uh, Y, Y, I at square where x, x equal uh, y1, yn in b. It follows from the above that, being given the normal form of h, whatever the process by which this is achieved, h is positive definite if and only if b i is uh, greater than 0 for any i uh, equal 1 to n, Negative definitive uh, on the uh, if and only if uh, bi is less than zero for any i. Semi definitive only if and only if uh, there exists i different from j uh, in uh, 1 to n such that bi is greater than zero and bj less than zero. Jacobi's method. Let hx equal sum from aij xi xj. We associate to h the matrix h with elements a11 to a1n, ann, an1 to ann. For example, h equal 2x1 at square plus 6x1 x2 plus 5x2 at square has the matrix due to symmetry h equal 2, 3, 3, 5. Be now the, de the determinants delta i equal a11 to a1i and the last uh, row uh, ai1 to aii, -I, where i belongs to one, uh, from 1 to n. In our case, delta 1 equal 2 and delta 2 equal 10 minus 9 equal 1. Jacobi's theorem says that if uh, all the delta i determinants are non zero, then there is a base B in which the quadratic form has the normal expression h of x equal 1 over delta 1 
y1 at uh, square plus delta 1 over delta 2 y2 at square plus delta n minus 1 over delta n y n at square. By Jacobi's uh, theorem, we have that if all delta i are greater than 0, the quadratic form <coughs> is positive definite, and if delta 1 less than 0, delta 2 greater than 0, delta 3 less than 0, etc., the quadratic form is negative definite. In our case, for hx equal to x1 at square, plus 6 x1 x2 plus 5 x2 at square, we find that h is positive definite, the normal form being h x equal 1 over 2 y1 at square plus 2 y2 at square. Gauss method. The disadvantage of uh, Jacobi's theorem is uh, that it is not work when 1 of delta i equals 0. In this case, we have the Gauss method. The Gauss method consists in grouping successively for each variable such that we must obtain a binomial containing all the issues of the variable. For example, in the case hx equal 2 x1 at square plus 6 x1 x2 plus um, 5 x2 at square, we obtain successively what you see on the screen. Renaming y1 equal x1 plus 3 over 2 x2 and y2 equal x2, we finally obtain hx equal 2 y1 at square plus 1 over 2 y2 two uh, at square. Therefore, the quadratic form is positive definite. We can see that in each met method, the normal form is different. hx is uh, equal uh, 1 over 2 y1 at square plus 2 y2 at square at Jacobi's method. And uh, also uh, hx equal 2 y1 at square plus 1 over 2 uh, y2 at square at Gauss method. If we make a change of variables in each case such that the coefficients become 1 or minus 1, we obtain that hx equal z1 at square plus z2 at square, where z1, z1 equal 1 over square root of 2y1, and z2, z2 uh, two equal um, the square root of 2y2 at Jacobi's method, and also hx equal z1 at square plus z2 uh, at square, where z1 equal the square root of 2 y1 and z2 equal 1 over uh, the square root of 2 y2 at Gauss method. Definition. A quadratic form hx equal sum from uh, aij xi xj has the canonical form if there is a basis b of rn where hx equal sum from uh, plus or minus uh, yi at square, where x equal y1 to yn in b. After previous examples, hx equal z1 at square plus z2 at square in both methods, Jacobi and Gauss. A new method. It's my method. Uh, let h of x equal sum from aij xi xj. We associate to h the matrix h equal a11, a1n, ann, an, ani, uh, an1, ann, and delta i equal a11 to a1i, ai1 to aii, where i belongs uh, from 1 to n. Let also delta k, comma, ij equal a11 a1k, A1j, AK1, AKK, AKJ, AI1, AIK, AIJ. 
uh, you observe that uh, delta K I J uh, is uh, obtained by border border the um, determinant delta K with the column J and the row I from the uh, matrix of the quadratic forms and delta zero I J equal A I J theorem one if delta one delta two delta n are different from zero then the normal form of h is hx equal 1 over delta 1 y1 at square plus 1 over delta 1 delta 2 y2 at square plus 1 over delta n minus 1 delta n y1 yn at square where ik yk equal delta k xk plus sum with i uh, belongs from uh, k plus 1 to n from delta k minus 1 ki xi for k equal 1 to n delta 0 equal 1 2 if delta 1 delta 2 delta k different from 0 and delta kij equal 0 then the normal form of h is hx equal 1 over delta 1 y1 at square plus 1 over delta 1 delta 2 y2 at square plus 1 over delta k minus 1 delta k yk at square where delta k where um, uh, I, uh, yk equal delta k xk plus sum from uh, delta k minus 1 ki xi 3 if delta 1, delta 2, delta k are different from 0, delta k i i equals 0, and there exists i different from j, such that delta k i j different, different from 0, then the normal form of h is hx equal 1 over delta 1 y1 at square plus 1 over delta 1, delta 2 y2 at square plus 1 over delta k minus 1, delta k yk at square plus signum the sign signum from delta k delta kij y i at square minus sign of delta k multiplied by delta kij yj at square plus n uh, hn of x prime where x prime is, is uh, xk plus 3 to xn where yp equal delta p xp plus sum from delta p minus 1 pi xy and so on uh, you can see um, in the screen the normal form of h prime corollary one the quadratic form is positive defined it is uh, if and only if delta 1 delta 2 delta n are greater than 0 2 the quadratic form is negative definite if and only if minus 1 at k delta k are greater than 0 3 the quadratic form is posit positive uh, semi definite if and only if uh, there exists k such that delta 1 and delta k are greater than 0 and delta k i j equals 0 for any i j from k plus 1 to n. 4. The quadratic form is negative semi definite if and only if there exists k such that minus 1 at i delta i are greater than 0 is greater than 0 and delta k i g equals 0. 5. The quadratic form is semi-definite if and only if a delta 1 delta 2 delta n different from 0 but do not meet 1 or 2 b there exists k from 1 to n such that delta 1 delta k different from 0 not meeting 1 or 2 and for any i j delta k i j equals 0 c there exists k such that delta 1 delta k different from 0 delta k i i equals 0 and there exists a uh, there exists i and j such that delta k i j different from 0 it's over thank you for your attention